I'm Michael Frudenberg and this is Film Masters. In this episode we'll be finishing off part one of the tutorial, which is of the He-Man logo animation. We'll be doing that in After Effects. If you haven't done it already, here's a link to the previous video for part one. It's also in the comments section below this video. So if you're ready to get into it, let's start this animation in After Effects. As always, let's have a look at the uh, animation and we're gonna replicate this in Adobe After Effects. Let's import the files as edible layer styles and leave import kind as composition. And we're gonna import each file separately. So we'll start off with the He-Man one and then the uh, Masters of the Universe. And I'm gonna go in there and delete each composition file because we don't need those. I just want the folders with the uh, PSD Photoshop files. Let's grab the He-Man and drop that in and make a new comp. And I'm gonna grab the uh, Film Masters of the Universe and drop that below on the timeline. Now, first of all, I'm just gonna resize the He-Man so uh, it's in proportion to the rest of the logo. And then I'm gonna select both of them and just scale them up. And moving on, I'm just going to uh, move forward a couple of frames I'm going to set a keyframe, so select the first layer, which is He-Man layer, and I'm just going to uh, set a position keyframe, and you can see the keyframes appeared. I'm just going to hide the other layer, so we can concentrate on the first one, and now I'm just going to drag He-Man down, so it's off screen, and outside our uh, window. So I'm just going to uh, press the space bar so we can play the animation. Now I'm not happy with it. I want to speed it up a little bit. So I'm going to move the keyframe on the timeline a little bit closer like so. Now I'm going to uh, make the bottom layer or the film masters layer appear and I'm going to select P for position and set a keyframe. Move that back in line with the other keyframe from the top layer and I'm going to drag down the Masters of the Universe layer. Okay, now that I've set the keyframes, I'm going to uh, play around with these a little bit. So I'm gonna select both keyframes in the bottom layer, move them forward. So we've got He-Man come up first, and then, and the Masters of the Universe. Now to uh, make sure that the layer is a little bit faster, I'm going to uh, just move the keyframes a little bit. Excellent, so He-Man comes up, then Film Masters. Perfect, now I'm just gonna stop it there. I'm going to select the top layer. Now, as you can see, I've moved forward on the timeline a little bit, and I'm just going to set a keyframe for the top layer and set a keyframe at the same position for the bottom layer, like so. So I'm going to move forward a little bit, select both layers now, and I'm going to uh, position them off our work area, like so. And then I'm going to press the space bar and uh, check out the animation. He-Man comes up, Film Masters second, and then they both leave. Now that's a little bit too quick, so I'm gonna grab both those keyframes and move them out a little bit. There we go. Perfect, I'm happy with that. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select both layers, go to layers and select pre-compose. I'm gonna leave all attributes and just select okay. And you'll notice on the timeline, once I do this, uh, those two layers are now put into one composition. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a 3D layer, select the 3D layer on the composition. I'm gonna go up to the rotation tool or W on your keyboard and selecting the X axis, I'm just gonna give it a bit of perspective. Select the move tool and stretch it out a little bit so that it's uh, got the right look similar to the logo. So I'm gonna play that now and see what the actual animation looks like. E-Man comes up and the Film Masters of the Universe, and then goes off screen. Excellent, so the next step is we're gonna be uh, applying uh, the lens flare or the flash. So let's move He-Man using the page up, page down buttons on the keyboard and find it when it first stops. It's gonna go up to the composition window and bring in the first lens flare. I'm gonna make that a 3D layer also. Select the uh, rotation tool 
and I'm gonna rotate it at the same angle and select the move tool and just cover that over He-Man. You can rescale it and so forth so it covers it like so. And once we're happy with that, I'm gonna select that layer, select T to make the opacity, set a keyframe zero, move forward three frames, increase to 100%, move three frames, then make a new keyframe, and then move forward three frames and select zero. So when I play the animation, it'll have a, uh, a nice animation of the flash. And we'll do exactly the same with the Film Masters logo now. We'll bring that up. We'll drop down the uh, lens flare or the flash over top of that text. We'll make a 3D layer out of that. Selecting the rotation tool. And on the X axis, just adjust it until it covers the text. Select the move to tool and we're just going to move it into position. And then we'll be setting a keyframe for this also. So once it stops, select that layer, T on your keyboard will bring up the opacity and we'll set some keyframes. So make sure that you uh, select the stopwatch, bring the transparency down to zero, move three frames, bring it up to 100%, move three frames, set a new keyframe and then select three more keyframes and bring it down to zero. So when I play the animation, this is what we have, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, and we stop there. Now we're gonna move it, the slider, until all the text starts to move, and then we'll move it back till it stops. And from that position, we're gonna select both the lens flare layers, set a keyframe to zero, move backwards three keyframes, select 100%, move three more keyframes backwards, set a new keyframe and then move three keyframes backwards and select zero. So let's gonna have a look at the animation now. Let's press zero on our numerical keyboard on the far right hand side to uh, do a screen preview. So I'm happy with that. Let's move the uh, animation out. Select N on the keyboard to uh, cut down the workspace area. Now selecting the uh, timeline, I'm gonna go up to File, then Export and Add to Render Queue. Selecting Output Module, let's select Loss Less. And I'm gonna move down to H264. And if you've got audio, make sure you select Audio. Let's go to Format Options, select Target and Maximum Bit Rate to 30. Make sure we select OK and then OK again. And now I'm gonna to go to Output 2, name the file, whatever you would like to call it, find the location, change the name of the file if need be. Once you're happy with that, select Save. And then we're gonna to go to Render. Select Render. And you'll hear a nice little noise at the end. And we're done. And the masters of the universe. And that's it. Part one and two of the He-Man logo animation. So I hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you want to become a film master subby, it's pretty simple. You simply subscribe to our channel. You can join us on Facebook and you can also check out our tweets. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.